Hey guys, Chris Wanteo here, bringing you another part of Let's Play The Walking Dead. In the last part, we... Um, Sean got killed, we tried to save him, but we couldn't part quite do it, and we got to this drugstore. Uh, there's a bunch of people in here, I mean, I think, like, five more? Yeah, there's two women, two guys, and an old guy who's having a heart attack, and we need to go find some pills for him. Don't really want to, since he's an old little shit, but let's just go ahead and still do that. You know, it's a favor, why not? So, there's a take energy bar here, that's why not. I mean, could come in handy in the future. Uh, what is this? Examine the ATM. Maybe there's money. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. But why would you need money exactly? Lord knows. <clears throat> Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Yeah, food would have been necessary. Uh, let's the newspaper see what Central that is. Central High State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. That's true. Probably. Uh, the radio. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Oh, that's going to be useful. Let me have a look. <clears throat> uh, on and off. Nothing. Okay, so why would you need the volume again? So yeah, well, volume is probably a good thing. Flip the radio over. Let's see what that does. Um, antenna. That's also a pretty good idea to get out. Whoa, that's what he said. Oh yeah, it needs batteries. No batteries in this thing. Jesus. You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Well, you, Jesus, if you're that dumb, you can't even know that there that batteries are there. It's a good thing you have. You're a good shot. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, okay. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over oh, there. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, this game just knows. Uh, uh, that guy saved you? Yeah. yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. Zombies. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. <laughs> huh? huh? Oh, nothing. Oh, flirting. How, how did you end up here? end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. Okay. I better get back to it. Yep. So, I have to look for batteries and nitroglycerin. So, the, the top cork board. What the hell is that? Easter egg hunt. The IT. It, the it IT guy. So, wh why do we need to know that? No one knows. Let's talk to Doug, shall Never we? Have seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh. Yeah, not let's not now. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. Uh, do we want to be doing that? I don't think that's a good idea, to be honest. Wait, there was a thing I could do here. No, Carly. What's that? Car what's that? Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? Oh. Yeah, she might, I suppose. Yeah, give it to her. I can take care of myself. Okay. Yeah, you know, you needed coffee, so I was like, let's assume that you need it. But yeah, Clementine could use it. I've completely forgot about her, as sad as it is. Oh, so did the family who owned this place. Kinda sad, actually, to be honest. Um, greeting cards. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. <laughs> well, good, at least good to know that you still have one-liners to spew out in the apocalypse. Oh, batteries. Cool, you found batteries. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. Oh, her eyes. They, whoa, that, those, she looked possessed. Holy shit. Talk to Katya, Kenny, Katya, and Duck. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Oh, yeah. How's Duck doing? 
He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How is she doing? I haven't talked to her yet. Uh, how should I? Um, she's good, she's I think. Good, I think. She's a tough one, right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own. That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Yeah, true. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. Yeah, it's not really you the best said idea. Your family was from here in Macon. That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Uh, I don't know. They own this place. Oh my god! They uh, own this place. They're uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Jesus, that sucks. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah. Oh, the, the family photo should have done it. I'm so dumb. Oh, jeez. You guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? What? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. Oh, fuck you, man. You let that kid die. You let that boy die. I know, man. I know. What would it have taken? You free duck, you clear your head, and we get that tractor off his leg. That's what I keep thinking. I keep seeing his face. What the hell's berate? Good. You should. We need to be able to count on one another. Uh, you know, at least it feels bad even though he's a huge, humongous retard and dumbass. I mean, he should feel guilty, because, you know, but... Still, we I mean, just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. Oh, Lauderdale. there's another, there's another in Jabbar. Cool. So let's go ahead and talk to Clementine. Oh, the office is probably where we get the nitroglycerin. I'm assuming. Oh crap! Did I want to do that? Crap! Oh, frick me in the butt! I wanted to talk to some more people there, but oh well. Can't think about them in here. Yeah, you shouldn't. It'll probably drive you crazy. Okay, okay, I can still talk to them. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. <laughs> yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, well, that's so I'm sweet. Not gonna go looking for. Him. I mean. Get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Okay. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Can we give her the thing? I guess not. How you doing? Okay. I guess we can't give her the thing. This door leads to the back alley. Hey, Trader Ford fight themselves actually in here. Let's look at the first aid kit. That could be a good thing. Oh, there's a photo over there. Jeez, that scared me. Something inside my house like went. That's a cop or something, and scared the shit out of me. Holy shit! Oh, why did you rip it apart, though? Find anything? Just a picture. Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. Yeah. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Uh, uh, it's the apocalypse. The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. 
because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Yeah, thanks, Carly. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't we trust her? She's dumb as a sack of hammers, because she didn't know what to do with the radio, but you know. Let's search it. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Okay, apparently there's no nitroglycerin pills, so let's just go ahead and get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Get, get, leave. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? What's it? What are... You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? <coughs> Let's say it's complicated. It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. Yeah, I don't think I want to be li a lying asshole, to be honest. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to Clement. Oh, there's another energy bar. Where's where's uh, the the th where's Clementine? I'd rather look for Clementine and give her the energy bar. Trying to get some rest, hon. How can I? Oh, let's go to Doc. Things out. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Uh, ooh, what's here? I don't remember them very well. Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Oh shit! Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So I'm down at that motor inn, and well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. Shit! I'm hiding over here. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. Okay. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah. yeah. I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Okay. Uh, I want to talk to Clementine first. What? What is this? Oh, batteries. More batteries. Cool. So we did find two batteries, which is nice. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and give this to Clementine. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Clementine is awesome, okay? Uh, let's give her the energy. The the, the let's give the, the the radio. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Let's hope. Let's examine the radio, it's shall we? Still not working. Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Needs a man's touch, am I right? So first, let's turn the volume. Oh crap, no. Oh, okay, it saved what to where I was. Uh then turns around. Open that. Batteries. Oh, she didn't put them in right. Which is what he said. Uh antenna no, the antenna should be up. Let's press the power button, hopefully it works now. A radio could be extremely useful. Yes! You fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full. Can I? Uh, uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, oh, fuck! God bless you all. Well, they they got attacked. Shit! Oh fuck! So let's talk to her. Let's get hey, out of here. Carly. Uh, are you okay? Let's talk to that first. Sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, you, you don't have to you be. You don't have to be. 
it's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Well, someone's hopeful. Hey there. Oh, excuse me. I have to sneeze. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that sneeze remind me. If I sound a little scratchy uh, or my no or sniffly, that's because I'm a little I'm a kind of sickish. But I want to record some, so here we are. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go ahead and save Glenn. Get down. Oh fuck. Okay, wait. No, never mind. Oh, good thing you didn't see us. Jeez. So, there are a lot of walkers around. Well, three. You probably could take the one. Sure did. Was that Glenn? Be ready to shoot. No, it's probably Glenn. Guys. Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. It was actually a good hiding place. All right, then, wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. Oh my I god. I tried to convince her I wasn't. And that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, I'm with Glenn on this one. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> what, what, what am I supposed to be doing? What am I supposed to be doing? Oh shit, I think this is showing me where like, the stuff are. Okay. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. Press to, press to peek over the wall. Oh man. Oh shit shit shit! She's eating something. Okay. So we got that one right there, close. We can hide by that RV. Quiet and keep our heads down. Holy crap, that actually we scares me. On the other side of that car. What is that truck? Look at. We can hide by that pickup. The girl's behind that door. Those two seem to be on the scent. No, but the RV, I didn't think that's way too out of the, sh the, the way. Oh god, truck or RV? Fuck. Let's go with the truck. Screw this shit. Okay. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Yeah, and we need like some sort of weapon. Oh yeah, that's good. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. I don't wanna do I wanna break the window? I think I found a pretty damn no, good way to I pressed the other thing, quietly. game. Now we just have to get it quietly. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. Wait, I don't think I want to be doing that actually. Can I just open it? Oh yeah, open the door. Of course it's locked. Frick me. I'm done trying to punch out windows. Okay. But the door is locked, so what are we gonna do? Maybe there's maybe there's the I oh my god. I keep pressing the wrong button. Yeah. Whoa, God, that's loud. My bad. So both these things, up and like right, go to the window. Why is that a thing? I'm done trying to push that window. Okay. We can't open the door because it's locked, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, say. What do you? 
going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? Yeah, I don't know, Carly. Why don't you do something? Let's head back there. Safe there. Yeah, let's go head back there. So I think we have to go to the RV. Alright. So let's run there. Old Metal Gear Solid cell. Okay. So wait, wait, wait. Actually, it's saved here. So I'm gonna go ahead and end off the part here. Um, I uh, it's on a cliffhanger. There's Glenn right next to us. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this. If you if you are, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to see more of my videos to come. In the next one, we'll see what the hell we're gonna do to save Glenn's damsel in distress. Uh, I'll see you then, you guys. Bye.